Another typical question on the Bergen Academy's test that has to do with percentages. Number two, if the length of a rectangle is increased by 20% and the width is increased by 50%, by what percentage does the area of the rectangle increase? Now, I have two ways to answer such a question. First way, first draw these two rectangles. Here's the small one, and here's the bigger one. And then name the length and the width using letters. So I'm going to call this length here L and the width W. Now, the new length, which is supposed to be here, equals the old length L, but increased by 20%. And we learned a shortcut for this before. If something increases by 20%, then I multiply that number by 1.2 because 1 means 100% and 0.2 or 0 0.2 means 20%. So 100% plus the new 20% is like multiplying by 1.2. Okay, so what I do is I call the new length 1.2 times L or 1.2 L. The width increased by 50%, so I call that 1.5 L. Why 1.5? Because 1 1.5 means the L itself times 1 plus the 50% increase, which is the 0 0.5. Now, the area right here, let's call it area 1, equals length times width, LW. The area here, area 2, equals the length times width, which is 1.2 L times 1.5 W. Now, I need to rewrite this so that it looks better. Keep the L times W outside and inside parentheses here, multiply 1.2 times 1.5. That's basically the same thing as what's on top of it right here. So 1.2 L times 1.5 W is the same as taking the 1.2 times the 1.5 first inside parentheses and then multiplying all this by L W. Now, how do I multiply 1.2 times 1.5 quickly without calculator? We remove the decimals, the decimal points, and we just write it as a regular multiplication question. 5 times 2 is 10, 0 and 1. 5 times 1 is 5 with another 1, 6. 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. So the answer is 180. Now, since I had a decimal point here after the f after one place and the decimal point here after one place as well, then I need to move my decimal point two places to the left. So instead of 180, it becomes 1 1.8. And we went over this extensively in the chapter that deals with decimals um, in the book. So 1.8 times L, W. That's your new area, area 2. Now, what is the percentage increase in the area. Now the old area, here let, let me change the color in blue, the old area is LW. The new area is 1.8 times LW. And remember, like we just said a little while ago, 1.8 means an increase by 80%. Just like 1.2 meant an increase by 20% and 1.5 meant an increase by 50%, 1.8 right here means an increase by 80%. So the answer is B, 80%. Now, this is one way, okay? The other way, the other way would be to basically assume numbers for the length and the width. Now, what do we need to know? Well, most important thing is that the length is bigger than the width, so choose a bigger number for L than for W. And second, try to make sure that you get the 20% and the 50% increase correct. So I, I would start with the length is 10. That's an easy number to add percentages to. And let's call the width 2. So the area 1 of the first rectangle is 10 times 2, which is 20. Now let's go to the second rectangle, the one that is now bigger. We said that the length increased by 20%. When 10 increases by 20%, it becomes 12 because 20% of 10 is 2. So 10 plus 2 is 12. How about 2, the width? 
it increased by 50%. 50% of 2 is 1. Mm -hmm. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So this is my new area right here. Area 2 equals 3 times 12, 36. Now what do I need to do to find the percentage or the increase in percentage? And now it's a little bit different. The, the first time we got a number multiplied by LW, which was 1.8. We could tell right away that that means 80%. Here what we need to do is first find the difference between the second area and the first area. So the difference equals area 2 minus area 1, which equals mm -hmm, 16. Perfect. So now we have 16. Since you have 16, which is the difference between both, we need to compare this difference to the original area, which was 20, and see how much of an increase that is. Because the increase, the question says, by what percentage does the area of the rectangle increase? I'm looking for the percentage increase, which is the difference between the new area, 36, and the old area, 20. This is the increase, the 16. Now, the 16 is what percent of 20? That's what they mean. So what I do is I take 16 over 20. 16 is the difference. 20 is the original area. I want to find how much percent that is, 16 over 20. Now, remember our trick? We try to make the denominator equal to 100 so that anything over 100 is the percentage right away. Now, what do I need to multiply 20 by in order to get 100? I need to multiply it by 5. And so, right here on top, I multiply by 5. So I multiply the denominator by 5. 20 times 5 gives me 100. And so that I don't change anything, I need to also multiply the numerator by 5. 5 times 16 equals, you got it, 80. 80 over 100 means 80. Per means over. 100 means cent. So 80 over 100 is 80 per cent. So the answer is these were two different ways to solve the same problem.